Welcome to Live, Laugh, Love Tarot. Today's topic is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising, who's coming towards you? Okay, so remember that this is a collective read and may or may not resonate with you fully. You can book a personal reading with me through mid-January. Uh, so book those while you can, if you can, okay? I want to thank you all so much for all of the likes, support to this channel, all of the tips and donations, as well as everyone that has smashed that subscribe button, everyone that has um, bought Oracle decks for me, as well as merch. It is greatly appreciated and goes back into the channel. Remember that tarot is fluid. It could play out past, present, or future. Okay, so take it how it resonates. You can always check out my playlist for additional collective reads. Okay, Taurus. Sun, moon, or rising. Who's coming towards them? Please and thank you. Someone with a lot of energy towards their ego. Somebody very egotistical yet creative. This person creates their image. Okay, how you perceive them actively, they do. It makes me feel like they're hiding something. I'm just hearing great pride. This is someone that you clash with, that you've had confrontation with. And they really complicate things because of the way that they view themselves and how they want you to view them. This person could be a Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or they could be a fire sign and have it somewhere in their chart. With the third house here, it's like this fucking person, they feel like they know it all, or they feel like they can obtain any type of fucking information. Supposedly, they're always right. That's the person that's coming towards you. May get one more. Yeah. They could be a Gemini in the third house, okay? A very social person, all right? But always running their mouth. This is somebody that runs their mouth all fucking day. And I'm sorry, but that's the way it's coming off. Like this person irritates you with their know-it-all type of energy. Yeah, with the sixth house here, it's like, well, I do this right, and I do that right, and I know it's all I and me. With the 11th house here, it affects their friendships, it affects their experiences, because they're always telling of their experiences. It's almost like that part of Moana, where they went to go get the weapon or something from Mau of Maui's from the crab and the crab was like it sounds like you want me to talk about myself that's this person if we pull one more we have Pisces here this person could have Pisces in the sixth house or the 11th house this is somebody that just they feel like their intuition um gives them a heads up this person feels like answers just come to them and i mean maybe they do but there is a bit of overachiever type of energy or just like forcing something what else can i tell Taurus? i'm on a rising about the person that's coming towards them please and thank you mm -hmm. results or conclusions it's like this will result in a resolution. Like it's some type of outcome, okay, that's coming from this. And I'm saying healing from a karmic partner. This person may be a karmic. Taurus, sun, moon, a rising. The person that's coming towards you may be a karmic, okay? And it's meant for you. The outcome is meant for you to heal from this shit and move the fuck forward. But know that they're coming. Know that they're in your energy and they're coming, okay? Let me get one more. What else can I tell Taurus? I'm going to rise in about the person that's coming towards them. Soulmate. This person is going to make it seem like, oh, you're my soulmate. We're coming to get back together. I'm the best person for you. We are so compatible. But Taurus, you and I know damn well. You ready to get the hell out of Dodge. You're ready to break it off with this person. Inner child. This person is going to come all lighthearted and shit, and you may get thrown off like, okay, what do you want? 
because it's like they're coming all sweet, like they've healed and, you know, but they really want something out of the situation. They really want compromise. There's the springtime energy. This person could be born in the springtime, but it's like they want you to refall in love with them. They want you to have a eureka moment, okay? But look, they know that you're in denial, that nothing will grow of this situation, but yet they want to try to rekindle. They want to try to fix something, okay? And there very well could have been some type of incident that took place in the spring, in last spring or something, or in the future, moving forward towards the spring. So let's see. Let me throw some tarot on it. What else can I tell? Taurus, some moon arising about the person that's coming towards them. Please or thank you. That they coming towards your ass to fix something. This person may have to travel a distance to get towards you, okay? In order to flip some shit, this person could have Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, or Aquarius in their chart. But they coming in to try to change shit between the two of you all. They're going to have a different approach, so be mindful of that as well. Yeah, this person wants to come in and work with you. But do you see how this person wants to come in and dictate some shit to you? They want to come in and dictate something to you. They want to come in and they want to call the shots low key after they sneak right the fuck in. But there's something about you, Taurus. Someone arising that's stuck. You're like, uh-uh, I ain't budging. Because something is off here. And that's going to be your energy. You're going to step into this emperor energy. You're going to take charge. You're going to take control of shit, this whole situation. And I feel as though you're not going to compromise. In fact, you're going to walk the fuck away. And if they come towards you in some type of way you don't like, you're going to break their heart with the truth that you speak. And whatever indecision that they thought that they could cause you, they're going to give up. But first, they're going to come back. Okay? And this is how shit is going to end. I see you hurting their feelings. I see you telling them like, shit, I just, I don't have it in me. I can't offer you X, Y, and Z and it's going to break their heart. But hey, you have free will. See that judgment? You have free will. Quite frankly, I see this person coming in and meeting their demise in a situation. But a hard head makes a soft ass. They should have just heard you out and given you space. Their energy moving forward, they're going to try to heal themselves. They're going to be real hurt. Okay. But there's that pride. Okay. This person has strong pride. Okay. They may try to go heal without giving you the satisfaction of seeing that they're hurt. But some with the cards is indicating that you're going to know. Yeah. And letting go. This person is going to ultimately have to let go. Okay. And this is a teachable moment for them. How teachable are you? Okay. They're going to learn a lesson because they're a karmic partner. They may learn to find beauty within themselves. Okay. Okay. And love, but it's not going to be with you. They're going to have to pay attention to the signs and possibly start a whole new journey somewhere else. So before I close out this read, I want to see um, what else can I tell Taurus, Sun, Moon, Horizon? Yeah, I just heard Scorpio, so this could very well be a Scorpio. Um, their next move is to meditate and contemplate. We have New Moon in Pisces. So a lot of Pisces-like energy here as well. And that came out earlier in the read. But first, they're going to meditate and try to think about their best way to come in towards you. Okay? A win-win outcome is in the forecast. This person could be a Libra, Sun, Moon, Horizon. But it's like they think they're going to win. 
they gonna come in like, oh, it's a piece of cake. Maybe you guys got back together in the past or something. But Taurus, sun, moon, and rising, I see you walking the fuck away. This person is gonna be salty, okay? Conclusions are within reach. Because you finna tell they ass like, er, no. Adjustments are required because this person is going to have to figure it out on their own because you are not going to go with this and communication is key you're going to be very fucking verbal about that new moon in virgo this person could be a virgo or have it in their chart but it says a time to give rather than take they're gonna be like oh just see it my way you know hear me out I see you moving the fuck forward towards someone arising. If this message resonated with you, smash that like button. And if you want to see more collective Zodiac reads like this one, smash that like button. I want to thank you so much for all your love, support, tips, and donations to this channel. And to the end, peace and love.